Hey you guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna be doing lip swatches of all of the shades of the brand new Urban Decay Vice Lip Chemistry Lasting Glassy Tints. That is a super long name, but I just got these in PR and I thought that'd be really cool to do like swatches of all of these because these are a pretty interesting product. And I'm gonna tell you guys why in just a few minutes. So before we get started, I would really appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also, I'm doing a huge back to school giveaway right now. You guys do not want to miss out on that. I'll have a link for it in my description box below. And then I'll also have the giveaway video up here in the cards if you guys want to check that out. Today's post notification shout out goes to Diamond Debbie's Gloss in Glow. She does have her own YouTube channel. So yeah, I wanted to give her a shout out to so make sure you guys go and check her out. If you want to be the next shout out in one of my upcoming videos, all you have to do is click the bell next to the subscribe button and then leave me a comment down below that you have notifications turned on and that's it. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started. So Urban Decay just came out with these brand new Vice Lip Chemistries. These are a part of the new Stay Naked collection. So the price of each lip chemistry is $22. And the reason that I thought these were super interesting is because after a few minutes, the color of these does adjust. So these are gonna look a little bit different on everyone. So whenever I first got these, I was honestly confused because if you look at the outer packaging and then open it up, the actual color in here here like looks so different than the actual box and that's because it does adjust. I just had to read because I am really bad about not reading things. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys swatches of all of these and you guys can kind of see how these adjust to my skin tone. So on the packaging, it says your lips, but better custom color changes based on your undertone. High gloss finish does not transfer lasting lips feel plumped with moisture. Vegan formula does not contain animal derived ingredients or byproducts. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and go through all of these shades. I'm going to go ahead and take this this one off and then we're gonna get started. All right, so the first shade I'm gonna be swatching is called Saucy. I just wanna talk a little bit about the packaging. I think this packaging is gorgeous, but it is probably gonna look dirty with like fingerprints but I do like it a lot. It says Vice like on each side and then it does have the Urban Decay logo on the top. I think this packaging is beautiful. All right, so here is what the shade looks like before applying it. So really quickly, I just want to say that these feel like really lightweight. They almost feel like water whenever you're applying them on the lips. And as you guys can tell, it's already starting to change colors. The original color is like this light pink over here and then it's starting to turn more of like a darker shade, which I'm starting to like. Here's what the box looks like. All right, so here is what the shade Saucy looks like. I actually really like this one a lot. The color turned into like a really pretty wearable shade. It was a little bit light whenever I was first applying it, but now that it's kind of changed to my skin tone, I really like it. It's kind of like that your lips but better type of shade, and I like the glossy finish that it has. Also, it feels really, really comfortable on the lips, which I personally love. Next up, we have the shade Sideways, which looks to be like a deep brown. Whenever you open it up, this kind of looks looks like a purple shade. So it's starting to turn into like a really pretty like deep brown. It does still kind of look purple in the center of my lips because I did just reapply some right there. These are really fun. Like I love watching them change colors. I am definitely loving this shade. I think I like this one more than the first one that I tried. So I probably should have done that shade last because it did leave my lips like stained. These are actually pretty hard to get off. They are supposed to be transfer proof even though they're glossy. So yeah, you guys can probably see that they're still a little bit of the last shade left over. But next up, we're gonna swatch the shade Low Key, which looks like a really pretty light peach. So for some reason, this one's not looking very peachy on me. I feel like I kind of messed up my lips by doing that really dark shade towards the beginning. But I do like this one as well. It's just looking a little bit more purple because of the last shade that I put on. Next up, we have the shade Pink Slip, which looks like a really pretty, like, cool toned pink. Ooh, this one looks like lavender in the bottle.
So this shade is really pretty. This is like a mauve-ish purple kind of pink shade. I'm gonna be really interested in seeing these on other people to see like how the colors show up on different skin tones. So I feel like my lips are getting like irritated and I feel like that's kind of changing the color of these. So I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation on my lips just to see what happens. Okay, that made my lips look like purple. I don't know what is going on. My lips are looking crazy. Now we're going to try out the shade Stack, which looks like it's right up my alley. This looks like it's going to be gorgeous. So here is what this shade looks like. I feel like these are all kind of going like more on the cool toned side for me. I feel like I have pretty neutral skin, but I just feel like all the shades are turning very cool toned. I'm gonna try this time without foundation on my lips. This next shade is called Love Child. So I also am loving this one as well. I think they are going on better without foundation on my lips, so I'm probably gonna keep doing it like that. This shade is definitely a shade that I could see myself wearing. Next up we have the shade Heavy, which the box color does look interesting, so I'm really curious how this is gonna look on my lips. So finally, I have found a shade that kind of looks more on the warm toned side. So yeah, I really like this one a lot. Next up, we have the shade Physique. Okay, I love this one. This is probably one of my favorites so far. It looks really pretty. This one is also more on the warm tone side. I love this one. All right, so we have three more left. Next up, I'm gonna be swatching the shade Third Base. And here is what this shade looks like. I feel like they're all starting to look <laughs> pretty much the same. I'm really interested to see how these are gonna look like side by side whenever I put all of these swatches next to each other. Next up we have the shade 21, which looks a little bit more red than the last shade, but it also does look very similar to the last shade. All right, so here is what this shade looks like. I did an awful lip swatch, but I love how like deep and vampy this red is. And finally, we are on the last shade. My lips are killing me because these are really hard to get off because they are a lip tint, so they do kind of stick to your lips. This last shade is called Overload and it looks like a really pretty deep brown. So here is the last shade. This one is very, very deep and dark, but I feel like it is kind of lightening up as the color is changing. My lips are looking crazy right now after swatching so many shades. All right, so after trying on all of these shades, my first impressions are that these are very comfortable. I also feel like they are gonna last a really long time because they are very, very hard to get off of the lips. I was like scrubbing my lips with these makeup wipes and they are like killing me because the shades like do not want to come off obviously because they are a lip tint. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of the lighter shades. I feel like I can't really wear like these kind of deep shades until more like fall time, but I do like all of the deep shades that are in this collection as well. I think they're super pretty. So I think these are a really cool product. I have been loving lip tints because they're so easy just to put on and they last pretty long. I've been really liking the ColourPop ones that they just came out with. So I'm really excited to continue using these. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these because I like to wear products like this on a more everyday basis than for example, like a liquid lipstick because these are super comfortable on the lips. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also, make sure you guys check out that giveaway that I mentioned at the beginning of today's video. I'm gonna have it linked in my description box below. And then I'm also going to have these linked in my description box below if you guys want to check any of them out. And before you leave, make sure you click the bell next to the subscribe button so you can receive notifications of when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching.